Uh, my dad had served in the military, in the Navy actually, so it felt like a good opportunity, get away, start a new life, do something new. I worked with the helicopter squadron, the HSCA eight ballers down in San Diego. And I was given the opportunity to fly off two days early before they pulled into port. I had been out to sea for a couple months and I was like, absolutely, I'll, go, I'll head home a couple days. Called one of my buddies up and uh, we went out riding. I wind up coming off the freeway. I'm stopped at a light. Literally the next stoplight is my destination. Me and my buddy take off and the car decides to pull out after he passes. I lock up my brakes, come around, wind up putting myself into a curb, and it launches my body off the bike, and I actually wound up hitting my pelvis on the light pole. Tore all my ligaments in my knee. My kneecap pretty much exploded. My pelvis uh, opened up, shifted, and shattered, and I had a, uh, my pelvis protruding from my stomach. I was in a coma for the next couple months, uh, induced. They told me I'd never walk again. For the first couple years, it was just, when I went to physical therapy, I just had them teach me how to live day to day in a wheelchair. My older brother, Chris, started getting me into the gym. I mean, I'd, I'd gone down, my weight had gone up. I noticed that, you know, my leg was a lot stronger. Out of the blue, I mean, just this random uh, retired master chief calls me, says, hey, are you interested in adaptive sports? And I was like, why not? And I wind up making every sport event I try out for, and you never know what you're good at. You never know what you can do unless if you step out.